Hey, Mr. Sherman here, and we're going to make a version of Cookie Clicker today. So uh, I'm actually going to change the tablet size. I'm going to hide this. And how I'm going to start is I am going to actually start with a horizontal arrangement because what we're going to do is we're going to have the big cookie button here in the middle, and we're going to have all of our, uh, I guess they're called buildings over here on the side. So I'm going to center out my screen. And I'm going to have this set to fill parent so it expands into the entire area. So I'm going to add a button. And what I actually did to make this a bit more fun is I imported this picture of a cookie. And I'm going to use that as my button image. Uh, if I can find it. And boom, look. Your cookie, uh, your button now looks like this. So we don't need any text in there. And I'm just going to call this cookie button. <clears throat> I'm going to put right next to it a vertical arrangement, and this is where all our buildings are going to go. So I might need to make this a little smaller. So I'm going to set this to uh, probably like 60%, and let's do 60% here for now. That should be good for now. <clears throat> and sometimes you just got to play around with uh, the alignments and the sizes of things. I think I found it worked best when I did right align. And then I gave this a width of like 40% because what I tell my cookie is 60%. So boom, that adds up to 100. And then do this fill parent. <laughs> boom. And you can go ahead and rename these if you want. I generally don't. But we can call this like building. Uh, no, upgrade. Uh, no, they are these are buildings. I kept getting it mixed up and my students kept getting mad at me. Building upgrades. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So let's put a button in. And this is going to represent our first building. Fill parent. And the first one, I, I had to keep looking this up. The first one is technically not a building. It's a cursor. So I'm just going to call this the cursor button. And I'm going to make this say plus one cursor. And I, I think cursors are what? I had to keep looking this up. Cursors cost 15 cookies. And they give you 0.1 cookies a second. So I'll be honest, there's a few different ways you could set this up. I thought the best way to set this up was like so. <clears throat> so this is all I'm going to have to start out. And really the entire app follows this pattern. So once you got this pattern down, you can just set up this entire app pretty easily. So I, as always, I like to change how my things look a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's going to be fine right there. And I need somewhere, obviously, to display, not a text box, to display how many cookies I have. I almost forgot to put that in there. And I'm going to put this just right down here at the bottom. Let's make this, uh, here, let's do this. Let's make this white. Let's make the background here black. And we'll be able to see that easily. Make it bold. And we'll call this uh, uh, current cookies current cookie label i should say current cookie label current cookies zero and let's make it bigger like 25 maybe yeah there we go <laughs> cool <clears throat> and like i said we're just going to follow this basic pattern throughout so over here on blocks, what's going to happen? Every time I click the cookie button, I need to add one cookie. So I'm going to have a variable called current cookies. We're going to initialize it to zero. And every time I click the cookie button, plus one. Boom. And as always, let's not forget to update my label. My label. It's going to say current cookies and then cookies. Boom. Perfect. So now we got to set up, we got to set up our cursor button now. And I'm going to repeat myself. A lot of different ways to do this. This is the way I did it. 
I have a series of timers essentially representing each upgrade. So what I'm going to do is I keep switching back and forth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a clock and I'm going to call this my cursor clock and one second. How many cookies do we get every second? 0.1 for, for each cursor, I should say. So over here, I'm going to set up my cursor clock dot timer. And what it's going to do every one second, we're going to, again, we can pretty much duplicate this entire thing. Every one second, what we're going to do is this, but we don't want to do plus one. We're going to do, we're going to make another variable to represent cursor change amount. Uh, no, zero. I'm sorry. Zero. So every time our cursor clock goes off, we're going to add whatever our cursor change amount is and then update our label. So now we got to set up our cursor button. We got to be able to buy a cursor. So every time I click my cursor button, I first need to see how many cookies I have. If I have more than 15 cookies, first thing I'm going to do is subtract total cookies. Current cookies to be more accurate. Current cookies. And update the label. And then I'm going to say cursor change amount is equal to cursor change amount plus point one. And again, that's essentially this entire app. You just repeat this pattern for however many upgrades you want. Every time I click the cookie button, I add one cookie. Every time I click the cursor button, if I have more than 15 cookies, take them away from current cookies, add cursor, uh, change my cursor amount. And this clock is just going to be running in the background. Every one second, it's going to be adding. So when you first start the game at zero, and then as you add it up, you get more and more as you go. Again, this same exact process. So I'm going to do, I don't know, probably two, maybe three more. And uh, and then I'm going to go on to the next video, show us how we can keep track of a lot of extra stats and make this just a lot cooler and keep track of all sorts of different things. So all I'm going to do here, I'm going to duplicate this button. I'm going to control C, control V. I got two of them now. I'm going to call this one my grandma button. And if you see over here, I now have my grandma button. Uh, what, how many, what is a grandma's 100 cookies? Okay, so if I have 100 cookies, then subtract 100 cookies. And now, if you're big brain, you realize I need another variable now. Cursor change amount. Let's call this grandma change amount. And we're going to say grandma change amount is equal to, what is, how many gra grandma's uh, one cookie per click? Okay, so boom, point one. Or not point one, just one. And then let's duplicate our clock now. Let's call this the grandma clock. We got it right here. But instead of adding cursor change amount, we want to add grandma change amount. I'm going to do it one more time. Contro uh, oh, and actually, let's let's fix all this because that's going to bother me. Plus one grandma, a hundred cookies boom control c control v i got three of them now i'm going to call this uh what is it farms i'm going to call this a farm button i'm going to say plus one farm and what is it it's it's uh 1100 cookies and it gives you what eight cookies per second all right so 1100 cookies and you see we got my farm button here. So let's fix this. If we have 1,100 cookies, 1,100, and let's make a farm 
change amount. I'm going to do a farm change amount. Farm change amount plus eight. And what happened to my, did I not? I did not. So same thing. Duplicate this farm clock. And current cookies, but farm change amount. And again, that's essentially this entire pattern for this app. <clears throat> and it's just something simple, something fun. And what I like about this is it's very simple, but it forces you to keep your variables in line. It forces you to keep your app organized and start kind of getting an understanding of uh, variables, how they work, what their purpose is, and, and just some of the uses.